What it do, what it do? Psych Palestine, not for late. girl, Karma J, coming at you today with my new look. I am loving it. I basically got um crochet individual goddess locks that I did on myself. I'm gonna show you really quick. Let me push the chair back so y'all can see how it looks. I totally love it. Let me come over here. It is super, super long. It kind of, yeah, it kind of it's my butt but anyway um i love it i'm gonna show you guys basically how i did it briefly it's really really long let me get in a little closer out the see these are really goddess locks so people be saying goddess locks and it's just curly faux locks which is not really the definition of goddess locks at least from what i've learned or whatnot so basically i'm gonna show y'all how to do this hairstyle i totally totally love it and you guys will know how to do it too and it took me about roughly five hours i'm gonna leave everything down below how i did it and basically i'm also gonna leave originally where i got the idea from the jasmine cole method she came up with this method i don't know how long ago but it's awesome check out her channel i'm gonna leave her link below because she basically came out with this concept of doing crochet individual dreadlocks because nobody really liked doing the full locks prior to this because it takes forever it took me like 12 hours to do it one time like on myself so let us begin okay i gotta set up my mirror right so i left out basically two strands so i could show you guys oh my goodness i look like i still have heat damage uh, i'm gonna solve that real quick my hair is so short because literally I had so much I had recently went natural not too long ago and my hair was basically texturized before and I was growing out the texturizer so I had like this much of straight and just hanging off so I was just like no 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 we gotta just I want to be healthy with my hair now so before you do this style just make sure like honestly I washed my hair and after I came out the shower I just twisted all of my strands like you'll see everything's like a free part it's not even perfect I did this without looking in the back of the mirror, so honestly, it does not have to be perfect. It's actually better off if it's not perfect, because it will look way, way, way more realistic. So let's get started. What you definitely want to do, also, um, while I was twisting it, I washed it, and I twisted it. Either you could use any leave-in conditioner. Uh, this is, <clears throat> I'll leave that link box below, um, Elasta OP and Intensive Treatment and Leave-In Repair Cream because you definitely want your hair to be moisturized especially that you're not going to be touching it so much so within a lock I feel like whether I do any type of locks whether it's crochet individual or whatnot I definitely want the hair to be moisturized this is what I do with all my clients because that's very that's key trust me so and also what I also like to use on my hair when I do this stuff oh my goodness my coconut oil is melting up it was even I didn't even put it nowhere hot but anyway um coconut oil extra virgin coconut oil this is the one from Shea Moisture so basically I already did all that before I basically twisted it last night and now it's a little um what's it called um dried up so basically now I'm just gonna go in and also you can just put oil let's say you didn't moisturize it the first time you just put oil on your hands you know what I mean just so we could get that little last last second moisture before you start so we're gonna start off with one strand let's start off with this one i'm gonna put this one away okay i'm gonna open it up like i said right out the shower you pre-twist your hair this will be way way easier for you hope y'all could see me all right and then what i'm gonna do is do a braid oh let me show you the hair that you need basically you're gonna need bamba full lock hair bamba Full lock soul hair and also free trace braid deep twist. I hope y'all can see that. You're gonna need both of these hairs. The deep twist hair is for the bottom, and the bomba full lock hair is literally for the just for that for the top. I guess the main lock part. And also, what's it called? You're gonna need four. I got four packs. Four packs of the bomba, Yaman, yeah, and two packs of the free trace braid. I guess we could use one pack, but I wanted the bottom of my hair to be thicker so the less hair you use the thinner it will be so two one to two packs jasmine cole used one pack but i'm gonna use two because i like my hair thicker and i basically had this much hair left you know what i mean if you don't like a lot of hair at the bottom then definitely maybe you could get away with one pack and i did probably way more braids than most people i'm gonna count and leave it down below how many braids i did as well i didn't count right now so like i said we're gonna get started okay so what we're gonna do is i'm going to literally braid the hair braid it down I don't want to start off by braiding with this hair because if you start off by braiding 
with this hair when you twist the crochet around it it will kind of be really tight so start off with your own real hair and section off a piece of since I like my hair thick I'll section off about this much hair section off a piece of that and you're gonna literally I'm gonna braid it down a little more before I add that piece in hope y'all can see me and about halfway through because I want them to be long and I want to make make sure also that you braid it long enough like low enough so when you do the lock it's not going to cover the whole entire curliness if that makes sense and then okay, can I see you? okay and then you're just going to braid this into your hair as well And then just braid it probably enough so it wouldn't unravel but you're gonna see like it's synthetic hair so it's kind of annoying to unravel it as you go but I don't braid it all the way I just braid it kind of like safe enough that my hair is secure as you can see hope y'all see that and then now what we're gonna do and it's okay if you have a little hair sticking out this time because it's gonna be protected in the bomba lock bomba dreadlock now you're gonna take your dreadlock you're also gonna need a crochet hook, hopefully that's obvious. And you're gonna literally go, okay. You're gonna go into the hair, make sure your latch is open. You're gonna take the hook, put it in your hair, literally through, keep it open. And you're gonna put the lock on because I have a little loop. You're gonna close the latch, pull it through. I'm, I have a second one, so I'll show you again and pull both of them through the loop, both. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna pull the lock. And pull as tight as you can so you can avoid having a knot being seen. Now this part is very, very important because this will determine if your lock will unravel while you're doing it or not twist the right way, not really unravel, but twist the right way. Make sure you kind of feel, like I don't know if you could see, but make sure you feel to see where it opens. Make sure you're not doing it in the opposite direction of where it opens because it will literally undo the lock and I did it before so that's why I know. So make sure you're going in the right direction. So as you can see, here kind of has a space that it opens. I pulled it enough that I can see a little space and I'm gonna wrap that around. Hope you saw that, okay, wrap. Wrap it around really tight in the beginning just because you want to make sure the, the knot is covered or you can't really see it. And then just keep wrapping literally. That's what I, that's how I did it. There's other ways to do it too. I'll show you that with the other lock. Just keep wrapping it. Wrap. Just wrap it around. Like just and as you wrap it, just kind of open it, you know. To make sure you're putting space for it in the lock. Oh, wow! Oh. Falling everywhere. Okay. Uh -huh. You see, it's just, it's gonna be perfectly secure. I really like the Bomba because that kind of has like a natural rough feeling. So, I like that about it. And now when you get kind of to the end away, you could literally wrap it all the way through. Or another way you could do it, um, I, saw, I saw this on the Chick Naturals channel also, I'll leave her below, is you take the crochet hook and you go through the lock under it, just literally go through it. Take the hook free. and make sure the hook is open because it'll defeat your purpose if it's not. And bring it all the way through until you get to the lock. I think that's where it's at and then you're gonna get to where the crochet goddess lock is then you're gonna hook it the hair hook it clip this I feel like is a little advanced I'm not to be mean I'm just saying like it's a little complicated because you know you don't want to get caught and then you just pull it through and then the goddess lock is at the bottom that's probably the easiest way to do the bottom or whatever it is so there you go now I'm gonna do it one more time. I'll probably fast forward this one so this video is not super long. 
I'll show you the beginning the right way though. Okay. You could literally just wrap it to the end, you know. I don't know if it's faster. I guess the other way it might be faster. But it's just like I don't like it sometimes because the hood gets caught and it might undo the, undo the dread when it gets caught or mess it up at that part. So I'm not the biggest fan of that one. Alright. All right, so there it is. There's your dread. So basically, that is it. I am in love with these dreads. I'm gonna keep y'all updated on these, but I literally, literally love them. I'm gonna show y'all again. Oh, the texture, how it looks. It's just so, 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 so pretty. I'm in love with it. Let me show you. I love it, I love it, I love it. And what you guys think i'm gonna leave everything that i used below and how long it took it took me i don't i wasn't really keeping track but it took me a little while i'm not gonna lie probably one of my longer hairstyles you know probably like four to five hours really if i was focused you know four hours but um basically for the ends if you want you could just put a little mousse in them to keep them from frizzing up or right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you can put african shea butter as well i'm gonna put a little leave-in conditioner at the bottom just to keep them because you know it is synthetic so you might face that whole frizzing up problem but just put a little i'm i'm using my Cantu shea butter let's put a little yeah girl yeah all right y'all well that is my video stay tuned for more i am in love with this style i think i'm gonna do a video on basically how to style it different styles to do you know but i am really liking the whole down look like i feel like so i don't know cool like you know i'm literally about to go to the market and just strut like i mean it free my mind i don't even need eggs but i'm about to need eggs today <laughs> New hair, so I gotta just go out and do nothing. That's how it is. So stay tuned. Please, please, please subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye.